Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Oakland Athletics and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And on the mound today, Shohei Otani. Chris, his strikeout rate this year among the best all time. He's truly one of the elite strikeout pitchers in the league. I mean, strikeouts per nine off the chart. So the opposing team, they know they have their work cut out for them anytime they're facing this guy or a guy like this that's going to get the swings and misses. Pretty much in a class of his own when it comes to that category. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now it's Chase Peterson. Slow roller up the middle. Fires over to Hoskins. Two away here in the top of the first. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Ripped into right field, base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then... Fair ball! Martinez, round second on his way to third. And he's got a double. Hoskins with a relay home. Tag, not in time. He scores. And it's 1-0. Loriano comes up to hit. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. The next offering misses, and it's 2-1. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. Two outs and one in scoring position. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Man at second. Fights it off. He'll see another. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. A's get one on the RBI double. As the A's are on top, you're watching Major League Baseball. Back here in Nationals Park. And towing the slab in this one, James Caprillion. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look off, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. And now it's Luis Garcia. Two hits in the game last night. That one hit to right. Butler moving under this one. He's got it. That's out number two. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't that quite barrel it up enough to really drive baseman. it. Joey. Two outs, base is empty. Manessa. Now the third baseman, Joey Manessis, entering this one second in the National League in hitting. Line drive. Throw on to Brown. Gets him easily, ends the inning. New inning getting started, and now Tyler Soderstrom. Lifted in the air, right center field. Garcia under it. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And there's one down. And now the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. Next offering upstairs. There's a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two outs. Base is empty. Adelberto Mondesi up to the plate. That one misses. Ball two. 
Swings through that. Boog, it looks like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and that ball is gone. He blasts one out to right. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 2-0. The Rubiel Angeles digs in now. One, two. Battling here as he fouls it away. One and two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And the righty deals. On the ground, right side. And that'll do it. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead. Back here at the ballpark, here's Leading Jared Kelman. The Nationals, the right fielder, Jared Kelman. The wind of the pitch. This to center field, Hamilton drifts towards it. Hauls it in for the out. Here's Shohei Otani. That just misses. Now two balls and a strike. And another ball. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Seventh in the National League in RBIs. Next offering is foul back. And he chases that one. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Three. three up, three down for Washington. They trail it here, 2-0. Top half of the third inning, this is Billy Hamilton. Bunting for a hit. And that's just foul. You know, these A's showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Right-hander kicks deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now it's J.D. Martinez on a strike, the pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So here's Brown at the plate. Here's a 1-1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Martinez, the runner at first with two gone. That one missed. Next pitch downstairs, and it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Swings and misses, and that is that. A strip. Back in Washington, D.C., here's the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. And there's a ball.
sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. He's been swinging it really well lately. Get, that pretty much split the zone either. down the middle, and Play. those are the ones where you got to make them oh, pay. Man. Here's Lane Thomas. Two hits and four at bats during yesterday's ball game. Next one misses. Now two and two. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Batting none. The left fielder. Jurek now down. batting Jurickson in Profar. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. On the ground to first. Could be two. Over to second for one. On to Brown. It's two. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. The pitch. Now a bunt towards third. Can't pick it up with the bare hand. The run scores from third, and they trail by one. And now, Luis Garcia. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. To first, and he beats hey. it. Everyone's safe. So up next, Joey Manessis. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Here's a 1 1. You won. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Next offering misses. They're now three in a row. Jared Kelman waiting for a turn at the plate. Abrams over at second. Garcia at first, two out of the inning. That pitch gets the inside corner. Three and two now. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. Stays alive. Kicks and fires. In the air to left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. Around from second is the tying run. We are tied at two. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. Stepping in, Jared Kellner. That's in there. Swing and a miss, and that is that. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that. Exit. Out of the fourth, and now here's the A's catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. Going to count one and two. One, two. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. 
And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel... Now this one's crushed. Down the line. Hooking. Foul ball. Here's a 2 2. Absolutely frozen with the backdoor slider for strike three. Next up for the A's, at Alberto Mondesi. He's already homered in this one. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. And he deals. Swinging a foul straight back. Rudder at third, two away. Swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. One left for Oakland. Welcome back. John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Shohei Otani. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Hard hit in the line. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. The first baseman, number 19. And it's Three. Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Hoskins. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. So now one and two to Reese. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a base hit right there. So a man aboard now with one away. Love how he let that ball travel. Now trusted his hands. That's a nice job of going the other way. Ruiz. Runner on at first with one gone. And here's the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Late with the swing there. One ball, two Hoskins leads off first with one away. Oh, right to the backstop. And that's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. Single to right in his first trip. Strike two. Runner at second, two down. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate, and the runner holds. Foul off first. Brown makes the grab, and that's the inning. Nationals leave one. Score remains 2-2. All 
set for the start of the inning. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Billy Hamilton. Uh. Next offering is in for a One, strike. Two. You know, these athletics do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of it. The starter's pitch count is high because they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts today. And that one hit to first. He handles it himself. Out. Two up, two down. Here's J.D. Martinez. The, the left fielder. JD. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Two balls and a strike. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. That one gets down for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Ripped on a line. And he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. The A's strand one. Score remains deadlocked. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Ken Waldenchuk. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Jerks in pro far. Now at the plate, he hit into a double play his first time up. 2-2 Two -two now. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one gone. No batter. So Number the Nets five. lineup turns Good over. Job. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. One down, base is empty. In the air, left field. Fair ball! The throw into second, in there safely. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there, coming back in that at bat. One out, runner at second. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Joey Meneses digging in for the Nationals. RBI not for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. The lefty ready and a 1-1. And this is inside. Two, one. two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. And welcome back, top six. And now the DH, Ramon Laureano. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Simply said, this guy's now, flailing at the plate yeah. right now. Just Tyler. disconnected from Ooh, head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Now batting, right fielder. And now here's a speed Butler. threat. Outfielder Lawrence Butler, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. So now one, one and two. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down. Can't field it cleanly. Next to hit at Alberto Mondesi. He's already homered in this game. Swings and misses. Two and two now. And that's outside. 3-2, okay. two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay. Yeah. Well, looked at the fastball for strike three there to end the inning. So one hit is all they get. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. We bottom of the sixth inning. And here is Jared Kelman. Leading up for the Nationals, the right fielder, Jared 
A wide to kick the pitch. And now two and one. You know, these Nationals really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Two. Next three. offering misses down and away. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now bad. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Cruising on the mound right now, but a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. Jack Swing went around. Now one and two. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the next pitch is way outside. Fly ball, center field. Hamilton drifts towards it. And that is that. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Seventh inning coming up. We are tied 2-2. Pitch now for the Nationals, Hunter Harvey. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really Hunter. impressive. He's really filled Harvey. up the strike zone this season, so these guys better be ready to swing the bats. So digging in, Urubio Angeles. The second baseman, Urubio Angeles. Bounced out to short. Sends it across to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Billy Hamilton up next for the A's. On the ground. And it gets by him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. One gone runner at first. Now the number two hitter. Line drive, that's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Thomas fires to third, save. Couple of singles back to back. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, the long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Swing and a miss, and that is strike two. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Swings, and he breaks his bat, and it stays fair. And he's in safely at third as a run scores. Up next to the the first baseman, Seth Glenn. Oh. 
So here's the cleanup hitter, Seth Brown. Ball to strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Swung on, popped up, left side. Profar on the move towards foul ground. Grabs it on the run. And there's two down. Now batting the designated hitter, Ramon Moriano. Here's Ramon Laureano. One run game. The A's looking for some insurance. That one fouled off. Hammered down the line. And now maybe extra bases. Now it rolls down into the corner. In comes the runner from third. It's 4-2. And into second easily with a two-out double. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. A couple of runs in the inning puts them ahead. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the end. Bottom of the inning, and it's the catcher for the Nationals, Hebert Ruiz. A swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Hamilton makes a nice grab at a full sprint. The center fielder, number 28, Lane, Lane Thomas, Thomas digging in for the Nationals. Fly ball down the line. Dives for it. Got it. Makes the play. You love to see when a guy's hungry to make a play. Right there, an excellent diving catch. You can absolutely tell he was all in and tracking that ball down. Next pitch has popped up. Brown settles underneath it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Nationals go quietly. Still down by a count of four to two. And now two balls and a strike. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. So a man on base to start the inning. Now batting, the right fielder, Lawrence, Lawrence Butler, Butler, up next for the A's. The 1-1. One -one. On the ground, a second, might be two. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Ground ball could be two. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. But there's no play. That's an infield single. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Handled that down and in breaking ball very well. I saw the break early coming from the other side and just let it get deep enough and drop the barrel on it at the very last moment. Back to the top of the lineup, Billy Hamilton. Up next for the A's. Two on, two outs. That's a little bit low. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Jorge Alcala. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. And yeah, the right-hander deals. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Here comes a pitch. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. A strand a couple as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Sam Mole. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here.
And now the count is even. And here it comes. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. At the belt and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. Left hand hitter waits. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Up next, next to hit for the Nats, Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia. Next Ball offering two. is down low. Two balls, one strike. Good eye right there. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Left-hand batter waits. Ripped to short. Mondesi fires over to first. And that quickly, two away. Now batter. The third baseman. Here's the third Joey. baseman, Joey Manessis. There's a swing and a drive. That one is gone. An absolute blast to left. That's his 50th career homer. And they close the gap. It's 4-3. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Nationals. Jared Kelnick, corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The one-two. Two-two. and misses it's a strikeout one scores in the inning coming on this solo home run it's now a 4-3 ball game it's major league baseball on the show back here in nationals park all set to start the ninth in this one digging in for oakland jace peterson and that chance handled to first and they get the leadoff man in the ninth Here is J.D. Martinez. Let's go, DC. The pitch. Swings here and blasts one left field. That's bad. Gone! J.D. Martinez takes him deep. His 11th of the year, it's 5-3. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So one out, nobody on. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Seth Brown. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the righty deals. That one ripped right center field. Thomas ranging back, still going back. Makes the catch up against the wall. 
Ramon. And next Loriano. is the designated hitter, Ramon Laureano. Right handed reliever. That one pushed foul. Two outs. Fouls it back with two strikes. Swings and misses. The high heat too much on that one. Oakland gets one on this homer. It's now a 5-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Zach Jackson. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Now it's the DH, Shohei Otani. Otani. And the pitch. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. Hit hard, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. And here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Next pitch is outside. They say it went. The tying run at the plate. Hard hit left side. Goes to third for one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. And now it's Keeper Ruiz. That one misses, and that's ball two. Way to lay off that pitch down. The 2 1. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scored position and just one out. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Now at the plate, Lane Thomas. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Swings and misses, struck him out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Digging in, jerks and pro far. Towards first, steps on the bag himself, ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. A 5-3 final score in this one. Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long.
Is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious athletics, five runs on 14 hits. 